Final Cut Pro includes several cool balanced color features. These are not really color corrections, but rather balanced color, such as white balance. Balanced color is not considered a color correction in Final Cut Pro, as it doesn't show up as a color correction in the inspector. You could say it's a mini correction or starting point for us non-colorist video editors. There are four processes involved when Final Cut Pro balances color. Manually white balance, analyze a clip for balance color, auto balance color, and match color. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my window layouts to monitor adjustments in color. I go up to the view menu, show in viewer video scopes or the keyboard shortcut, command 7. I have mine set under the scope to waveform and under the channels to RGB parade. If you don't know in which menu something is, try the search field under the help menu. Here I start typing the word scope in the search field. When an image is properly color balanced, the RGB parade is equally distributed from the top to the bottom. Since I like this window layout for color correction and want to reuse it again, I want to save the layout. Go up to Window, Workspaces, Save Workspace As. I named mine Color Balancing and then save. If you revisit the window, workspaces, we have color balancing. Let's start with manual white balance. What is white balancing? White balancing an image removes color casts and makes white objects in the image appear white. Select a clip in the timeline. Position the playhead over the clip so the clip's video is displayed in the viewer. Go to the Modify menu and you can choose Balance Color or the keyboard shortcut option Command B. Or you can go to the Viewer Enhancement pop-up menu and choose Balance Color. Once you do this, a Balance Color effect appears in the inspector. Go to the Method, Automatic, and choose White Balance. Notice an eyedropper appears. Take the eyedropper to the viewer. To set the white balance, click or drag over an area that should be pure white. Now before we do that, notice the slope of the RGB parade from left to right. So let's check this tablecloth. Click it, the video immediately changes. Now notice the RGB parade, it's much more balanced. When using the eyedropper, don't sample an area that's overexposed, such as a light source or a shiny highlight. Instead. Select a properly exposed area of your picture that's white, like in this case, it's the tablecloth. After you apply a manual white balance correction, you can copy the correction to other clips for a consistent look. So we'll go down here, to make sure the clip is selected, go up to the Edit menu, Copy. Select the next two clips, go back to the Edit menu, Paste Attributes, or the keyboard command, Shift, Command, V. Copied from, pasted to two clips. Now these two clips have the same white balance as the first one. Switching from white balance to automatic and back again seems to retain the established white balance. Notice it says you can click a white, gray, or black area in the image, not just white. If you want to choose a different section of your video to white balance, you can redo it just by resampling with the eyedropper. I wish we could access the balance color information when Final Cut Pro balances color, but all we get is an on and off checkbox. Let's talk about Auto Balance Color. Apply the Balance Color once again, Keyboard Shortcut, Option, Command, B. And let's talk about this Automatic Balance Color. When you balance a color automatically, Final Cut Pro samples the darkest and lightest areas of the image's Luma channel and adjusts the shadows and highlights to neutralize any color cast. Final Cut Pro also adjusts the image to maximize contrast so the shot 
occupies the widest available luma range. That information is from the excellent Final Cut Pro documentation. So Final Cut Pro is using the position of this playhead for the reference frame when it does the auto balance color. You have to actually select the clip in the timeline or the browser. Just placing the playhead over it will not work. Balance color is grayed out. Another item for balance color in Final Cut Pro is analyzing a clip for balance color. With analyzing, Final Cut Pro looks at the entire clip and chooses a frame that is closest to being correctly balanced and uses that frame for its balance color source frame. Analyze for balance color does not actually apply a balance color effect. It is only analysis. So if we go in here and choose this clip, right click on the clip and choose Analyze and Fix. In the Analyze and Fix window, you can choose Analyze for Balance Color. So analysis occurs on the entire clip. Another way you can analyze for balance color is during import. Hit Command I or click this button here. And you have Analyze and Fix. Analyze video for balance color. That'll do it on import automatically. Another way is Final Cut Pro Preferences. Final Cut Pro Preferences. Import. Analyze video for balance color. That's three places you can get your video analyzed for balance color. If you don't want Final Cut Pro to choose the frame for balancing color, don't choose Analyze for Balance Color. Instead, place your playhead over the clip and choose Balance Color. That way you are deciding which frame is used for balance color. If you've already analyzed a clip for balance color and applied that balance color, but you change your mind and now want to use the playhead to choose a frame, go up to the inspector and delete the existing balance color, move your playhead to a new location, choose a new balance color, and a new balance color frame will be used. So the frame used as a reference for balancing color is either a frame chosen during balance color analysis, in which case Final Cut Pro chooses it. It chooses the frame that is already the most properly color balanced. It could be the frame the playhead is on in the timeline, or if a clip is not analyzed and the playhead doesn't intersect it, the middle frame of the clip is used for balance color. For example, if I choose this clip, but my playhead is over here, I can still balance color. So Final Cut Pro in this case is using the middle frame of this clip because the clip is selected, but the playhead is not over it, and it has not been analyzed for balance color. By the way, the skimmer can also choose a frame to be used for balance color. It takes precedence even over the playhead. If a clip has been color analyzed, either during import or while in the browser, the analysis process extracts color information for the entire clip. If you add a portion of a clip to the timeline, or multiple portions of the clip, the balance color feature chooses the frame within the project clip that is closest to being correctly balanced. In other words, if I add four clips to the timeline, each one of these clips has their own analyzed frame that is used for balance color. The final balance color item in Final Cut Pro is match color. To match color, select one or more clips in the timeline that you want to adjust. Choose Modify Match Color, or use the keyboard shortcut, Option Command M, or use the Enhancement pop-up menu at the bottom of the viewer and choose Match Color. The viewer changes to display the frame under the playhead on the right, and the frame under the pointer on the left. So I'm going to choose this one, choose another one, choose this one. Each time the image on the right changes to match the color information found in the clip under the pointer. When you find a clip that you like, choose 
Apply Match. You can skim any clip in the timeline or the browser to find a frame with the color look that you want to match. You can also import a still image that has a look that you want. There's a few things about match color. Match color always goes below balance color in the effects tab. So right now we have this match color. If I add a balance color, balance color goes above the match color. You don't have any access to any controls other than on and off in the match color, just like balance color. But you can choose another frame if you don't like what you've matched. So there you have it, the many ways to balance color in Final Cut Pro. This is Richard Taylor. I'll see you in the next round.